Luckiest girls in the Wrens, the Women's Royal Naval Service, are those in the seagoing category. They don't actually go to sea, but they do man their own craft. In certain United Kingdom ports, girls like these have taken over the job of ferrying from quayside to ships at their anchorage. They service the boats they operate and handle them with skill, demonstrating in yet another instance the adaptability of what used to be called the weaker sex. Of course, all this makes life much more difficult for the Matlow. Time was when he could swear with impunity. Nowadays, he has to watch his step. You never know what may be coming up on your beam. Nevertheless, the girls are a popular lot with the personnel they carry. Like them, they are doing a man-sized job. Within sight of the Japs, but unseen by them, a unit commander of the 14th Army plans the assault on Kennedy Peak, next Japanese stronghold after the fall of Tidim. When the Allies finally battered through to their objective, the only Japs left on Kennedy Peak were those who would never fight again. Antwerp on the Scheldt seems a long way from the Battle of the Snow-clad Ardennes. Yet it was the imports through this great port, second largest in Europe, which enabled the Allies to halt Ronstadt's offensive in the Belgian Bulge. Early last September, British forces captured Antwerp with its vast harbour and railway yards all practically intact. For weeks afterwards, German defenders of the islands controlling the sea approaches to Antwerp fought bitterly to deny the Allies the use of the port. 
The ending of the Battle of the Scheldt marked a new stage in the war. It wrecked the German strategy of delay. Since then, a million tons of war supplies a month have been poured into Antwerp, Havre and Cherbourg alone. A key to Western Europe, Antwerp is destined to play a major role in the coming Battle of Germany. Mosquitoes of coastal command take off for a sweep of German shipping up in the Norwegian fjords. Equipped with cannon and rocket projectiles, several dozen of the swift and deadly British bombers approached Nord Gulan Field. Here, between precipitous mountains, was sheltering a Nazi convoy, heavily protected by anti-aircraft batteries. How the mosquitoes did their job is told in these dramatic pictures. When the mosquitoes headed for home, they left burning two escort ships and two 3,000-ton merchantmen. <laughs> 